Catacel is an acronym that stands for Cerebral Autosomal Dominant Arteriopathy with subcortical infarcts and leukoencephalopathy. So that's why we call it Catacel because it has so many big words. But it's a disease of the small blood vessels and it affects mostly the brain because the brain has, has small blood vessels. It can affect other parts of the body that have small blood vessels, but they're blocked with a genetic protein. And so it's not like something um, that, like plaque or something that can be busted with plaque um, busting drugs. There's no drug that will take care of the protein that's blocking our, our small blood vessels. So in the, deep in the brain there are there is cell death and those create the lesions or the infarcts, um, the scarring in the brain and depending on where those are that can determine what kind of symptoms you have with Catacel. Um, Catacel has, has many many symptoms um, that are common with other conditions and but the most prevalent one uh, is migraines. Um, migraines generally with aura. Um, people with Catacel have strokes generally long before they should ever have strokes. I'm 55 myself, but I have friends in the Catacel community in their 20s, 30s, and 40s who have already started having recurring strokes. Once you have a Catacel stroke, the chances of you having another one is, is very high. Um, so I'm one of those who just happens to be doing pretty well. I get a lot of migraines, I get a lot of headaches, um, I get fatigued easily. Um, I have some mood disorders that I, that I medicate for um, that are, that's very helpful that way. But because I, I do, I'm doing well considered uh, or compared to other people in my rare disease community, I advocate for people with Catacel because I, I can, you know, I'm able to speak um, well, I'm, I'm mobile. Many people with Catacel uh, have mobility issues they have um, speech issues, and I don't. So that's why I, I reach out to people with Catacel. Um, it is most commonly misdiagnosed as MS, which a lot of diseases are misdiagnosed as MS. There are some similarities. Some of the mobility issues are similar to MS. Um, people with Catacel could have white matter lesions in their spine, which people with MS do. Um, that's often a way to differentiate whether you have MS or Catacel is you don't have the lesions in your spine. However, there are people in the Catacel community who have both Catacel and MS because they have lesions in multiple places. Um, Catacel is diagnosed with a genetic blood disease. It's a notch 3 chromosome 19 mutation and there's a number of mutations in that spot that that are indicative of Catacel.